you know this is something that is actually a serious matter right now uh this is a very serious matter i want to talk about <coughs> a moment of silence first it's about my friend being admitted my friend was admitted in the hospital <sighs> so my name is oscar yana from video studio today i'm going to tell you what exactly happened how we were treated everything until right now my friend he's still surviving yeah he's still breathing i mean he's still alive he didn't die that's something you should know but what exactly happened it's uh, some sorts of discouragement i was really discouraged so let's get started a few days ago me and my friend uh we actually so by the way a few days ago my friend got ill it was in the afternoon and he called me and he told me hey bro can you take me to the hospital i told him no problem so we went actually to the bigger hospital just nearby the changqing it's called changqing hospital so when you reach there yeah it was a very big thing that we actually didn't know to speak chinese very well and they didn't understand us very well so we were tried giving that treatment of okay 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 like it's they just trying to push you forward that's what happened we tried to call uh i know you ask like why can't you go with the teacher the teachers were busy so the moment we went we left them back to school and when we arrived there we tried to call to our class teacher and trying to uh trying to talk to him so as he may talk to the doctor but what happened is actually the teacher also was not trying to understand us what we really wanted him to tell to the doctor because he really is not that good in in uh, you know in chinese so it was a really headache and it was a very very bad pain i told you guys that i'm not that good in uh, in chinese so i'm not that perfect the way you guys think i am but i am i am good a little bit but not that perfect though uh, i'm gonna improve then uh, maybe next time in some other videos whereby we're talking about china i'll be speaking in chinese maybe i think that by that time then i'll be at least somewhere you guys can think that i am but right now i'm not in a good I'm, I'm not in a good condition like i'm not in a good position so when we reached at the hospital this is what happened we reached at this hospital and then we were told to wait first for almost like one hour so as our results can come out we did the first measurement there we spent almost like how many dollars let me write now let me not now change the amount of money that we that we spent first like if you're sick in china sincerely you guys who are foreigners living in china you know how much expensive it is here to get uh to get a little medication for yourself like it's very costful like almost it was it, it costed us almost 74 dollars 74 dollars 74 us dollars it's, it costs like 74 years to just to do simple measurements simple measurements so we actually did some little measurements there and uh it was 74 dollars 74 dollars it's a very very big amount you guys know it for those people who are in canada canada it's almost 99 canadians for those nigerians it's like 20 27,000 naira 27 naira 27,000 naira so it's really expensive back in tanzania in my country it is uh 100 100,071 one hundred thousand and seventy one so it's a very expensive amount of money so this is actually something that was a real disappointment but on the other side is that after doing all that that the person who was actually ill that the, my friend was really ill so we had to take an ambulance you can imagine so this is how it was uh, the, i'll show you some of the parts that uh i tried to capture when we were actually at the hospital though it's, it's not something that is good so i don't have much footage about it I don't have much footage about it so i'll just try to show you some of the parts and then when we were at this at this hospital the first hospital when we arrived first so we were given all the services a little bit but it was just all okay okay so as they may push us forward we really hustled hard until we got the first result then we were also told to go to climb the ambulance sincerely we tried our best now the person who was supposed to be taking us to the ambulance I had no problem but the doctor who was supposed to call the ambulance to call the girl who is going to call the ambulance was actually wasting a lot of time sincerely there's someone who was supposed to be taken to the ambulance and you guys are just sitting down chit chatting chit chatting sincerely that was a real discouragement like when i saw that i was like oh my god my brother is gonna die right now 
but anyway that was a real discouragement so by the way god helped us so god helped us and uh, we got into the ambulance and it was really fast he tried it like we drove until to the bigger hospital the main the main shandong hospital uh, the main shandong hospital what is it the main shandong hospital and so when we arrived there yeah they helped us the people from the ambulance also did discourage me something so we they we reached at that place and then in, instead of like waiting for us so as they may take us but we paid for the ambulance pay attention we paid for the ambulance pay attention we paid for the ambulance and sincerely they left us there they left us there and they did not even think of uh something like uh waiting for us we go back together because we paid a real high amount of money i thought they're gonna wait for us but they just helped us just getting the doctor and they left that was actually something that was actually oh my god i was really discouraged okay you guys are going to fetch other doc, other patients okay just go but from there also the services were actually not that much perfect because language barrier you guys i'm telling you right now like you should not come to china while you don't know anything about the chinese since here you're gonna get a lot of problems here like you won't it won't like things won't work things won't work sincerely things won't work you're going to face a lot of problems Make sure to go and check the other video that I did about the phrases that you must know, the important phrases that are going to help you, the five important phrases that you should know before coming to China, the Chinese phrases. So, continuing with this little story of mine, like, that's what happened. After I actually reached at the hospital, they gave us the services and also listened to the amount of money that they really cost, the really cost of, uh, of going to take all that medication. It was, like, almost around... Uh, wait let me count let me change the amount of currency right right now it was almost like 118 dollars sincerely it costed us 118 dollars oh my god which is equal to 159 canadian dollars canadian dollars that is too expensive too way expensive you guys if you if you don't know that we foreigners who are here in china if we get sick sincerely it costs us a lot a lot of money and you parents who are actually watching this if you know your son or your daughter is in china please give them high amount of uh pocket money because i'm not talking about those guys who always go to clubs but for those guys who you know your daughter or your son is not in a good health they always get more more problems when they go to the hospital first it's about the language barrier and second they actually use a lot of money there so please give them a high amount of money because uh, i know they cannot sometimes tell you about it but i'm really doing this i'm telling you instead of them telling you i'm telling you the truth about it like sincerely give them high amount of money in the hospital it really costs a lot those foreigners who are watching this the video the foreigners who are watching this video they really know about that and if you actually f you have once faced the problem of using a lot of money in those make sure to like that button make sure to hit the like button sorry make sure to hit that like button and so the other thing that was a real discouragement after all those ups and down at the end we went and got the result yes i really like the technology i'll show you right here the video so this was actually the technology of the result and system it's an online whereby you just like you have to use your card to get everything you use your card to pay you use your card to keep the results of the the results of your disease and all that stuff then later you just get your medicine and go but and the other worst part is that at the end at the end we were supposed to just get the medicine whereby but before getting the medicine sorry before getting the medicine the doctor has to us has to give us a prescription in that prescription the doctor didn't give us a prescription exactly what the doc what the okay the doctor didn't give us the prescription what the doctor did is just like he took the paper and he just wrote it roughly and gave it to us and told us go and take medicine no he was supposed to give us and when we told him we explained everything that he was supposed to give us a prescription paper he didn't do that he said oh, this is enough just go we went to the end you are returned what was all that time wasteful for it was useless sincere i was really discouraged i know there are so many foreigners who go to the hospital and face the same thing but this is really discouraging like i went there and i asked for the like we, we asked for the medicine they didn't give us we had to go back again to the doctor and ask him about it he didn't give us we had to change the doctor and then we went to another doctor he gave us the prescription and the medicine we went and actually took the medicine to the to the what you call this a strange so they had to give him a strange on his butt 
<laughs> so they had to give him a string on his butt but actually thank god that medicine really helped a lot so he's now doing well but sincerely on this whole journey that we were actually going to the hospital and coming back it was a really discouraging thing because we really faced a lot of problems like the way the language barrier thing was into us like the way they couldn't understand us easily and we tried our best we used translators we tried our best on communicating with them communicate communicating with them but at the end part it was all oh my god it was all full of stress so i just wanted to say that if you're a foreigner here and if you're a foreigner and you're coming here in china and you know your health is not good i just wanted to make this video because of you guys so you should know that you should prepare a lot of money uh, you should prepare a lot of amount of money and if you have a child who is actually studying in china you need to give them a lot of money because if you don't they're going to use a lot of money here i'm not talking about those guys who actually go for clubbing i'm especially i'm specialized with those people who are actually having bad health give them a lot of money because uh in the hospital it really takes a lot of money i've been seeing that so please guys help my friends who are actually facing this problem please parents i mean please parents help your children if you are sad if they're studying in china or if they're living in china because getting sick in china is really a mess so thank you guys hope you guys have known what is the reality of being in china anyway i'll be sharing my experience in so many videos and i'll be sharing again and again until you guys you guys can learn and uh, know what is exactly taking place in china until me next time guys make sure to leave a like comment and tell me down below do you think the amount of money would have costed the same if it is what it was in your country and the main disease that was facing my, my brother it was a heart problem like we had to take some electro diagram and stuff we took first an electro diagram and uh the second one was uh it was the same sorts of uh, measurement that i've forgotten but the first one was an electro diagram so tell me if you think an electro diagram would cost 74 dollars in your country convert 74 us dollars in your country and tell me like down in the comment section if the 74 us dollars would cost the same in your country for an electro diagram just think about it or for a normal medication in your hospital back in your country so tell me down down below in the comment section until me next time guys bye bye